MicroStation provides a facility for generating reports on tag values. The report that is generated is quite basic in content, but it can be opened by any word processor and it can be imported into spreadsheets and database managers. Generating a report is actually a two-part process. In part one, a template is generated which contains the names of the tag sets and the tags to be included in the report. In addition to tags, elements in the design may also be added to the report. The template is saved to a suitable folder and MicroStation will offer you the default location for that folder, but you can change that if you wish. Part two comes when the tagged elements or cells have been identified in the design and the template is used to generate the report file. And the report produced is a comma delimited ASCII.txt file. Now to run a report in our situation, I've brought in the extra four cells and tag sets, which I copied at the beginning of the previous video, and we'll use those for the report. So the first thing then to do is to make a template. And to do that, we go to Element and Tags and Generate Templates. And now we can make our settings. Ignore the top line for the moment. We'll look at that in a second. Tag sets, our standard exact chair tag set is available to us, as would all others if we had more. The tags are available here, but notice too that there are additional tags in this list. We have our standard color, fabric, manufacturer, and size. But if we scroll the list, you'll see quite a number of other tag types. These relate to settings and locational information for the tags that we're about to use. We need to add the ones that we want in the report into the report columns, which is a simple process. Now be a little careful because the tags which we place in the report columns is the order in which they will be listed in the actual report. In our case, we'd like to use the same order of tags that we have attached to ourselves. So we would start with manufacturer, which is the first tag in the list, and add that. The second tag is the color tag, so we'd add that next. Then the fabric is the next tag, and add. And the size is the last tag, and add. That means that the report will list those items in that order. And while we're at it, let's add a couple of the other available tags. Let's use the X value and the Y value. Adding those two will give us the X and Y locations of each tag in the drawing. And the location values are absolute coordinates from 0, 0. We need to set the report file name, and I'm using exec chair here, which reflects the name of the tag set, but any report name could be included here. And we should check the top line, report on. I'm reporting on tagged elements only, but I could report on all elements in the design. Now be careful with this. There will normally be many hundreds or possibly thousands of elements in a design. So use that option very carefully. Make sure that tagged elements is on. And format will be text. In other words, we're creating a text file, but you could also generate an XML file. Text file is what we need. And now we save this template. We click on Save As. And the Save As template location opens up. Now note the path to this folder. It's quite a long path, and it may be different on your system. So do one of two things. Either note and save this path for future access, or you can change it, of course. You can change the path by going through the regular folder systems and choosing a different path. I'm leaving my where it is right now, at the default. We need a file name for the template. Let's call it, call it exec chair. And the file type is TMP for template, and that will pop into this folder. We'll do a save. Now that's done. And you can check its presence if you wish, if you want to use a file management program to check that path. 
Now with the template already made, we can start running the report itself. And that's simply a matter of selecting the required cells or elements in the design and running the report template. Having done that, the report is automatically generated and saved back to that same default path. Now we need to select the tags that we're interested in. So let's place a fence around our collection of cells and tags. You could make a selection set using the element selection tool if you wished. In this case, a fence is quite efficient. Now we need to run the report. So we now go to Element and Tags and Generate Reports. We're now asked to give the file a name. We'll use the same one we used before. So select that. And we're done. Now that report will have been generated and placed in that default folder. I'm going to open that up for you. And here is the report. I'm using Notepad since this is a comma delimited file. Notepad works very well. Let's take a look at what we can see here. Each of the lines represents one tag. And we see the manufacturer, the color, the material, and the size. And then two sets of numbers which represent the X and Y location of that tag. And that's it. That's all the information that the tag report produces. But it does describe each tag perfectly. You can now pass this on to a spreadsheet program or a database manager for further work. Now try this yourself. Change some values in the tags or add more tags to the tag sets and generate more reports to see the results. Now, one last thing before I finish, I'm going to turn off everything we see. I forgot earlier on to show you a quick method of selecting a tag for editing. Simple way to do this, element selection tool and double click on a tag. The tag values pop into place. You can now click on the color, change the color and click OK. And we change the tag. Sorry about that, but better late than never.